Hi and welcome to a new series I'm doing, Quick Tips for How to Improve in Age of Empires 2. Today we're looking at mods for competitive gameplay, and of course preferences will vary, but I wanted to share my top 5 mods for anyone who's new to competitive play, or perhaps to the mod centre in general. Number 1 is Small Trees. Now there are heaps of variations for the Small Trees mod, but I recommend Selected Small Trees with Grid Shadow by Anne HK. The grid shadow beneath the trees makes it easier to spot holes in awkward woodlines, and unlike many other small trees mods, this one keeps the variety of trees local to each different map. Next up is the building range indicator, which originated as a mod but has now been added as an option in the game settings. You can choose between having the range indicator always on, or only when the building is selected. I play with mine always on, and it really helps me not walk my units into arid fire from my opponent's defensive buildings. The third mod that I want to recommend is a subtle one, but it's one that I think has been done extremely well. Another great mod from NHK, the Better Resource Panel and Idle Villager icon mod. Anne has increased the font size and colour of the resource panel, and has made the Idle Villager indicator significantly more obvious. This helps with resource count awareness and economy management respectively. The next one that I don't play without is the Improved Mangonel Shot Visibility mod by iDanger3694. This mod replaces mangonel stones with trebuchet rocks, making the projectiles much more obvious. I find that it gives me a better shot at successfully microing around mangoes, and let's face it, I need all the help I can get. Finally, at number 5 is a mod that doesn't change the UI, doesn't change the look of projectiles or trees, but can help improve your gameplay significantly. This is the Interactive Build Order Guide by Cicero. It's essentially a dictated walkthrough of a range of different build orders, and the scenario grades you based on how well you reach the goals of each build. This is a great tool for anyone who wants to learn basic build orders in a practical way, and while it does have some downfalls, it's definitely worth giving it a go if you want to improve your builds. Now, I've shared my top 5 mods for competitive gameplay. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below, and if you are interested in any of the mods that I talked about today, the links to each are in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and good luck in your games, but most importantly, have fun!